Let's investigate the idea of designing a frequency trajectory, um, trying to take into account the fact that our uh, perception of frequency is logarithmic. Let's just get started here. What I'm doing now is this first establishing my frequency trajectory as a linear transition between a starting frequency and an ending frequency. Let's try a little bit more of a transition range. In fact, I'm going to go all the way down to 110 hertz, and we'll do this over four octaves. I'm going to slow this down just a little bit more, so listen carefully. Now you should hear that as the note descends back down, that it, it seems to uh, sort of hurry through the lower frequencies in a sense. If we look at this on a logarithmic mapping, we actually see, in fact, that's, that's what our perception tells us. I'll try this at two seconds, but now pay attention to the uh, shape of the curve and see if you can match that up with what you hear. All right, so if our goal is to try to get something that that we perceive as more of a uniform change between the two, we actually have to set up our frequency sweep in a logarithmic fashion. So not, that sounds better. It doesn't seem to, uh, in a sense, hurry through the lower frequencies so much. Now the spectrogram is shown here in a linear scale, and if I show my trajectory in a linear scale, we see that same uh, behavior. So what we observe now is that the frequency uh, basically needs to dwell, so to speak, uh, longer in the lower frequency area and then uh, more quickly transition through the higher frequency area. And that will give us the, that uh, perceptual trans or sensation of um, more of a uniform change in frequency.